Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly Houses Pack. Now this one kind of looks a little bit unique, and that's why I, well, basically went towards it and had a look at it. Let's take a look. So the first thing you'll notice is that they don't look like a conventional house that you would expect to see, and I kind of like that. So I think the idea is what they've gone for here is they want to kind of go for perhaps a fantasy style, but not necessarily only fantasy. See, I kind of like the way these are on stilts and it just looks really unique. So the quality of it, I think, is quite nice. I mean, keep in mind that they are low poly. Low poly is not meant to be highly detailed. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't add your own detail to it if you wanted to. And as I always say, a bit of post-processing never goes astray. So, yeah, I, I do like the quality of it, but then again, I do kind of like low poly in general. Uh, so quantity wise in this demo scene that we get, yes, we do get a demo scene, which is always good to see. Uh, quantity, we do get quite a bit. Yes, yeah, some are kind of duplicated in some ways, just different colored version of things, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. If we go through and take a look at the prefabs, you can see just how many we get. And you can see here that these are pretty much identical in terms of how they would look generally. So, for example, if I bring that one in and bring that one in, you can see that roughly it's the same sort of thing. It just has that extra little alcove there. And that's the only real difference. But in all honesty, that's not really going to make too much of a difference. I am going to count that as a little bit of um, an extra content, I would say. So in terms of extra content, yeah, there is quite a bit here because... In basic terms of content, it describes itself as houses, which is good. And it does indeed show you all of that. But I do like the fact that there is little things here and there in this package that you wouldn't expect to see. Like I said, that little alcove there is a completely separate uh, prefab. Speaking of which, I do think that is also the slight downside of this. Each of these prefabs or models or whatever you want to call them, Models are all there, by the way, in the folder. Um, they are their own individual objects. You can't take pieces out of one, like this door or this stilt. You can't take that away and put it somewhere else. They are their own actual object. But, you know, that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You can just drag and drop these. But it does actually mean that you cannot go inside these buildings. They are not enterable. They are completely fake inside. So they would just be best used for... Uh, background as it were like for example it, it could even have it slightly interactable if you were in this little fantasy game you came up to this house you could have a little thing saying oh it's locked i can't go in so mainly i would say they are more for backdrop more than anything price wise it is free at the time of recording this little uh, video may change remember prices go up and down all the time in the asset store so keep that in mind size wise it is less than a megabyte You'd expect to see that uh, in this kind of asset, but 880 kilobytes, that's a really good size. How customizable is it? Well, if we go to the material, we can see that it is one single material for everything. So that does indeed mean that if we change anything in this material, let's say we just want to change this house, it would change every single house. So what you would have to do is apply your own material to each individual um, building if you wanted to. Um, it does come with that one texture, that one texture is mapped out for this material so it'd be mapped out onto each um, building. So it can be a little bit difficult, especially for beginners, to try and put your own um, version of a material onto this house. So the customizability is a little bit low in this one, so that would mean that they're not as versatile as other low poly assets would be. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think they look okay as they are. How useful are they? Well, like I say, a kind of a low poly fantasy style game. These would fit in quite well. Whether it is a fantasy RPG style or whether you're in some kind of low poly city or town, I think these would fit in quite well. Or even maybe a swamp of some kind. Who knows? I like these little watchtowers, actually. I think they're kind of cool. Uh, folders all nice and neatly laid out. Always good to see. And like I said earlier, there's a uh, scene for us to use. Always love seeing the scenes. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. Uh, I either recommend them or I don't. And this one is a bit of a peculiar one, if I'm honest. I would recommend it for beginners who just want to create a nice little simple world to use. But I wouldn't recommend it for people who want to create a really interactive world, whether it be low poly or not. 
Reason being for that is because these houses are just standalone objects. They're not enterable. You can't go in. You can't do anything much with them. You can't customize them too much. Um, that's why I say for beginners, if you're looking to create a nice simple world, yeah, I'd recommend it to you guys. But for more advanced users who want to create something really unique and interactable, I would not really recommend it too much unless you're in the market for a nice little backdrop somewhere. So, guys, do you have an asset on the asset store yourself? If you have, please let me know. I would love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little videos. And if you've used this asset, let me know what you think in the comments below. What have you used it for? Do you like it? Is it good? How customizable do you think it is? And finally, guys, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all the content I have on this channel, tutorials, reviews, Unity games. It really helps me out a lot if you do that. So I will see you around in the next video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.